let's so let's go from pretty to pretty, and that's uh, Conrad Dobler joining the chicks. You can just pop it on, Conrad. We got you live going. Okay. You know what? I believe, <laughs> yeah, if I'm not mistaken, Conrad, I believe that you were on with us at Super Bowl in New Orleans back in the day. What when, what, what, what what Super Bowl? Um, it was in, it was in New Orleans, I believe, that well, you were out there. It was New Orleans or Houston. Uh, uh, you, We've had you. You got We've me mixed up you. with Tom Selleck. <laughs> yeah. Oh well, you well, know, great. Right. Sean Connery or someone like that. And Conrad is, is uh, joining us from Radio Row here with uh, all the action going on. And so he is yeah. one of the Gridiron greats. And you guys are all over the place this Super Bowl. Tell us what you got going on. Well, we've got a lot of things going on. Uh, first of all, the, the main thing we have going on, and, and it's fortunate for the press and stuff like that, and, and I have to correct you on some things, that we're trying to get our piece of what's out there. We're not really trying to get our piece of what's out there. We're, we're trying to get what is certainly deserving to us, certainly oh, yeah. something that we work for, something that we put together that has, you know, it, it, it's like imagine playing a football game, and, and, and I didn't write this, a disability lawyer said, he said, imagine playing a football game where the other side chooses the referees, and the referees only have one or two rules they have to follow. He said, now imagine playing the same game where the opponent keeps moving the goal line and adding time to the clock because it suits them. And they said, now also imagine this, uh, and during this football game that one side can take away a touchdown any time they want without any justification. Now, you would think that was crazy for a football game. That's exactly what players that try to get disability from the NFL go through. Oh, yeah. And, you know, what's so crazy about this whole situation is this doesn't have to happen. What right. we're trying to do is, you know, everyone has their time. You have your time to be born and your time to die. And my time will come and your time will come. Well, the same thing goes on with any professional athlete, whether it be hockey, whether it be basketball, whether it be football, baseball. You get a time to play, you get a time to quit. But, 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 but your time's over. And you got to prepare yourself for when that time's over. Some people with life, you prepare yourself if you believe in heaven or hell. Well, you got the upstairs and downstairs ramp, whichever one you want to take. <laughs> Well, it broke my heart because, you know, you guys oh, went I'm forward. Sorry. No, you guys went forward and you were, you know, going against the committee and saying, listen, you know what? These guys that played back in the day, you know, you've got guys living in, you know, a, a, a homeless shelter, all these things with their families because they have dementia or they have certain things going on. Or some of them are just broke from really just trying to be able to walk again because they didn't make that money back in the day. And the NFL wasn't taking care of their own. And that... You know, it was all over the media, you know, you guys talking about it. And Mike Dick is very adamant about it. And, and to see that, that you have to fight for something that you guys really created the game back in the day. Well, we fight for something that is actually ours to begin with. Absolutely. Uh, you know, the thing is, it's kind of like the stock market. We invested years ago, 25 years ago, 30 years ago, when I played a buck in the stock market. Same stock market now. Now, my buck is still only worth a dollar, but the guys that are playing today, they invested the same dollar, but their stock is worth $500 a share. Now, what, mine's only worth 200 theirs is worth 500 a season. Now, I don't understand that because my stock should be worth a lot more than theirs because I've been had my dollar invested a lot longer, but it's gone down in value while theirs has gone up in value. You know, they're, they're, they're such spin doctors. Gene Upshaw, you know, the best thing that could happen to the union is Gene Upshaw to retire. He's a tyrant, and you know, as they say, you know, uh, they, they say power, you know, absolute power, corrupt, uh, power corrupts, absolute power corrupts, absolutely. Well, he's been corrupted absolutely, you know. The justice or the law in America is green. If you have enough green, I can make the law read any way I want. Oh, yeah, you know? absolutely. And, and it's the same way in politics. If it, 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 anything you want done, you take care of the people that keep you in office. And that's what Gene Upshaw is doing. He's taking care of the current players. They keep him in office. And to us... It does right. trickle down. Well, you are um, you are also battling some you know some of the the results of when you were a player back in the day, and um, you're battling for the people right now that just need basic necessities. Well, the players you know, that need food, that kind of stuff. I have been very blessed in the fact that uh, you know Phil Mickelson, uh, professional golfer. Uh, have you ever heard of him? Oh yes. Uh, he uh, he gave my daughter the opportunity to pick any college she wanted to go to and he's paid for it. She goes to Miami, Ohio, and she's a hottie. Right. Uh, and and, uh, and she's academically gifted. Oh, absolutely. I'm going to have to have a DNA test. On her. <laughs> Make sure. Obviously, she got my looks, but I don't know where she got the uh. brain because she's a hottie and, and she's fabulous and she's doing a great job. I have six children and my wife is in a wheelchair. Right. And according to the NFL, she's not disabled. And, and she but your wife had an accident, and she and she she's is in a w right. wheelchair, and she's disabled. But according to the NFL's rules oh, and regulations, yep. she's really not disabled. And you've applied, so, haven't so you? Applied for I've been turned down, and most right. than all the beds here in the Hyatt. You wow. know, I've been turned down. You know, 
You know, I, you know, it's like I, 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 like I talk about Archie Manning. Archie Manning was sacked so many times at, at playing for the Saints before I got there that he was on his back more than half of the hookers down in front. <laughs> you know, well, so. if you'd like to get involved, and it's very, <laughs> it's very important for everyone to get involved. It's gridirongreats.org, or you can call 800-708. 1078. If you're a football fan and you'd like to get involved and just help out the guys that really have made the game great and made it watchable for you. Now they've got, a, and they've also have an auction. Some of the players now are giving up personal mementos and things uh, for them to be oh, online yeah. auction. Well, we have a uh, we have a Harley, Harley Davidson being auctioned off to sign by a bunch of different players, and we'll probably let you all. Uh Sit on it and enjoy it. Uh, <laughs> right. Add yes. Something to it, I guess. We got an African safari. If you don't like to hunt, just the photos you could oh. take would just be fabulous. Exactly. Vince Lombardi, our hand-drawn, uh, what hand-drawn plays, and uh, dinner with Mike Ditka at the uh, at one of his Chicago steakhouses and stuff. And more information is available at that number the ladies gave out one eight hundred seven zero eight one zero seven eight for details, and. Um, Thank you. God bless you. Oh, Connor, well, good luck, dude, I, I, and, and I, keep up the fight. I've been blessed, and I, uh, I, I feel like I have to play it forward for, uh, for other people that uh, might not have had uh, the friends and the, uh, the support that I've had. Uh, Thank you so much, Connor. Oh, thanks. Thanks. Uh, good I'm luck. I'm absolutely. Part of the gridiron greats. Thank you so much. Absolutely. Live out here on Media Row, and uh, you never know who's going to stop by the chicks just to say hi.